Hey guys, in this video I'll explain what size inverter you need for a 100 amp hour battery. For lithium batteries, stick to a maximum of 1000 watts. And for lead acid, aim for around 200 watts per 100 amp hour battery. Check out the video to understand why I suggest these numbers. Here's all I will cover. I'm Nick, the guy behind Off-Grid Solar Power Simplified. I've written a book and run a website where I've guided hundreds of people in setting up their own off-grid solar power systems. Ready? Let's dive in. First we will discuss using a lithium battery, and then I will explain how it works with lead acid. If you have a 100 amp hour lithium battery, it can deliver a current of 100 amps, which is also called 1C. Make sure your battery can handle this kind of current. Now, let's say the battery is at 12 volts, when it's pretty much empty. We do some math. 12 volts multiplied by 100 amps equals 1200 watts. That means we get a maximum of 1200 watts from the battery. But wait, there are some losses along the way. Let's say your inverter is 95% efficient. And there are other losses too. So let's go with 90% efficiency overall. We take the maximum power from the battery and multiply it by the efficiency. 1200 watts times 0.9 equals 1080 watts. So for a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery, the biggest inverter you should choose is 1000 watts. If you have a 24 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery, the biggest inverter you should choose is around 2000 watts. For a 48 volt 100 amp hour server rack battery, the maximum inverter size is about 4000 watts. Now if you've got two 48 volt 100 amp hour server racks combined, making a 48 volt 200 amp hour battery, you can go up to 8000 watts. But remember, if you try to draw more power than the battery can handle, its internal computer or BMS will shut the battery down. Let me know how many batteries and which inverter you have in the comments. When it comes to lead acid batteries, there's no computer inside to control the current. But we should be careful not to push it too hard. Let's stick to a C rate of 0.2. So a 12 volt 100 amp hour lead acid battery should give you around 200 watts of output power. Sure, it can do more, but it will wear out the battery faster, reducing its lifespan. Now if you want to power a 12 volt 1000 watt inverter with a 1000 watt load, you would need about 5 12 volt lead acid batteries connected in parallel to make a 12 volt 500 amp hour battery. Doing the math again, 12 volt multiplied by 500 amp hours, multiplied by a C rate of 0.2 and multiplied by 0.9 equals 1080 watts. It might seem like a bit of a hassle, but that's just how lead acid batteries work. Let's figure out how long a 100% load on a 1000 watt inverter can run on a 100 amp hour battery. The capacity of a 12 volt lithium battery is about 1280 watt hours. After considering efficiency, we're left with roughly 1152 watt hours of available power. A 1000 watt load gives us about 1.15 hours or 1 hour and 9 minutes. If you're talking about a 48 volt 100 amp hour server rack battery, the total power capacity is about 5120 watt hours. After efficiency, we're left with roughly 4608 watt hours. With a 1000 watt load, that gives us about 4.6 hours or 4 hours and 36 minutes. Every inverter uses some power, even when it's not actively doing anything. The good ones are more efficient, like the ones from the Victron Phoenix lineup. For example, the 12 volt 1200 VA version only uses 7 watts when idle and just 1 watt in eco mode. If you learned something new, please like the video. 
It helps me out more than you think. Watch these videos next and I will see you in the next one.